Hey guys and welcome to the Akinon's YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand the difference between the dot format and the F string in Python. So let's get started. Basically, before understanding that, we must understand what does formatting mean. As a beginner in Python, to format or place some data in a print statement, we basically just use the concatenation symbol, that is the addition symbol, or we separate them using commas. So let's understand this example. I have this name variable and the variable present is Carl, and I just want to print saying that my name is the name of the variable that is stored in the variable name. So if I run this, as you can see, it says my name is Carl on the output window. And if I just change this variable, it can change to anything like now my name is Ash. However, this is a very amateur or informal method of formatting your code. Hence, we have the first formatting method that is dot format. So let's try to understand how we format code using the dot format function. So now let's understand the dot format method. So basically, again, I'm going to use the print statement. And I'm going to write the same statement saying that my name is and now instead of writing the name variable, I'm just going to add this open closed curly braces. And now I'm going to call its method that is dot format. And within format, I will put the name of the variables that I want to be formatted into my print statement. So in this case, the variable that is name. So now what we are trying to do is we are trying to tell Python that within these curly braces, we have to place the variable name into our statement and print it. But there's a small issue now. This still won't work. So let's run this program and see. It currently works for a single code of line that says my name is Carl. But what if I try to add another variable called as age and let me just initiate a variable called as age is equal to 20. And now if I run it, it still runs this, but if I change the order and now I try to print it, it will cause problems. As you can see, it's saying my name is 20. So there is a small confusion going on here. Python does not know the index at which variable should be printed. So here we can specify that. So as you can see, the format as these data items and its indexes start from zero and so forth. So age variable is present at index zero and the name variable is present at index one. So now I can just put in the index one since I want the name variable to be replaced in this curly braces. And now if I run this, as you can see, it perfectly runs saying that my name is Carl. And please ignore this previous line. This is from the line of the previous print statement. Now let's talk about the F string statement. This F string is a new feature implemented in Python from 3.7 onwards. And this allows formatting in a very fashionable manner. So let me show you how to do that. All I need to do is now type my print. And now I just simply type the print statement that I want to print saying like my name is and let me put my curly braces. F string again uses the same thing that is curly braces. And let me again write something saying that age is curly braces. But there's a small difference here. We are not going to use a dot format method. Inside these curly braces, I will put the name of the variable that I want to be printed. So here I will put name and here I will put age. But there's a small missing thing that needs to be added. Before the start of the string, I simply need to write the escape character that is f. So now Python recognizes this whole string as an f string since I have added the character F and here in this curly braces, it will separate, it will, it will em replace the empty string with the string placed in the variable name that is Carl and the same goes with H that is, it will replace it with the value 20. So let's check it in action. As you can see in the output window, it comes in as my name is Carl and age is 20. Now, Again, when we discuss about which formatting method should be used, whether f string or dot format, 
it this answer absolutely depends upon you whether you like to use the dot format method or the f string method nowadays most of the python developers prefer using the f string method since it writes code that is more readable and easier to code so that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you like such videos drop a like and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the akinons youtube channel for more fun and interesting videos